today I want to show you how to use clipping masks in Designscape. So first, let's find the file we're going to work with. So I have these watercolor backgrounds that I got from the Sublimation Bundle Volume 2 from Design Bundles. And instead of using them as a rectangle background, I want to make them into a circle and make a monogram. So I just hit File, Open, and I selected my file. And now I'm going to come over here and use the ellipse tool. You can find that by hitting U on your keyboard or coming over to the shape tool and holding down and then hitting the ellipse. If you hold down shift while dragging, it'll make it a circle. Just like if you were using the rectangle tool, it would make it a square. But if you let go of the shift, it's going to make it into an oval and not a perfect circle. So now I'm going to drag the shape layer underneath the watercolor background by dragging and dropping in the layers panel. Then on the watercolor layer, I'm going to right click and then hit clipping mask and that will mask the watercolor into the circle. So as you can see, if you move the circle, it'll move where the layer above can be masking to. We can also scale and move the watercolor to fit differently in the circle. So to transform, I'm going to hit edit and then free transform. Once I have the design placed where I want to, I have to hit the check mark to confirm the changes. And now that I have everything the way that I want it to, I'm going to add a font. And to do that, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard, which brings up the text menu. And then I'm going to hit the drop down menu next to the font name and then hit load font. I'm going to open the princess font by Crafty Little Notes. I think this is a really pretty font and it works really well for monograms. I'm going to drag and drop the text box to be about the size of the circle. And then I went back up to the font name and I selected the princess font. So I'm just going to play around with a couple different variations and letter combinations till I get something that I like. So I'm going to go up to the text and I'm going to increase the size until it fits the circle. And then I'm going to change the color to white by hitting the black rectangle next to the font size and selecting white. Now I'm going to go up to layer, rasterize, and what this is basically going to do is going to turn that text layer into a PNG layer where I no longer can edit this, but I'm doing this so that I can center the letters exactly to the circle. So now in the layers panel, I'm going to select both the monogram layer and the background layer, and I'm going to select both layers by either hitting command on a Mac or shift on a PC to select both the layers that I want. Then I'm going to hit V on my keyboard and I can center it vertically and horizontally. And now all I need to do is go up to file, export as a PNG, and my project is done.